High school students have been taking on digital technology and robotics challenges even as they aim to venture in the careers. Today, the third edition of Computing and Robotic Fair took place at Alliance High School where students showcased skill and varying degree of expertise in the field. The fair brought together students from the host school, Alliance Girls School and Nova Pioneer Eldoret. The theme of this year's fair was how to use technology to curb theft in schools. Undertaken through technology, unlike in the past, and what my advice will be to my fellow colleagues will be to venture into technology and to seek technology as a way of employment because many of them seek, seek other jobs to be employed but I would rather go for self-employment. I am here uh, today presenting a project that explores the use of biometrics in school lockers uh, because we have seen an upsurge in theft in school of later, in school, many schools of later and uh, this is mainly because uh, the methods that school use, schools mainly use to lock or keeps uh, their students' items safe are a bit analog, such as padlocks, and they can be broken uh, into by brutal force. We don't base ourselves on gender jobs. A job is a job as long as you have passion for it. So don't uh, look around for where there's more boys or more girls. As long as it's something you're passionate about, uh, strive to get at it. Because at this point, we tend to say too much of a male-dominated uh, sectors. We believe that there are so many answers found in technology. And therefore, if we are able to use technology that is really available here with us, we can get some of the solutions we want. Uh, we have uh, different categories of participants coming from uh, high school. We have uh, uh, post-secondary from university and colleges. We also have independent innovators. And uh, all these have one common agenda. Can you provide a solution? Kabarak University, Save the Children Kenya and Madagascar have assigned